Good morning, everybody. This is Tabby Cat walking very really slow because our roads are very icy this morning. We had some snow, as you can see. And, well, I want to thank all my new subs who subbed yesterday. Thank you. Um, I took down the other video because there was some mix up. Uh, Crypt Keeper, evil, evil creature. And uh, Billy Joe's friend are a bunch of liars. I had thought about it, and it was mentioned to me by my friend that go back and read some of the paperwork that she had and I had. Well, I did. Oh boy, Crypt Keeper. Oh, you are a liar. Big time. So, as I said before, I take notes. So, let's go to. September 8th, Billy Joe had filed an eviction notice against Lilani, Danny, and she put the three kids on there, why I don't know, but she did, claiming that they were destroying her house. She wanted them out. She asked the court that she wanted the possession of her premises, which is fair. She wanted $74.60 to pay for the court fees, and she wanted them out as fast as possible. I don't know why. Here's the person who wanted her grandkids to watch her grandkids and have them around, but she wanted them out. Maybe because of all the drug use, I don't know. But here's the, here's the best thing. On September 21st, the courts ordered uh, Leilani and her boyfriend which Leilani did not appear, uh, default order of paternity of child support. Then I thought about it, and I'm like, in order for her to get any kind of child support, you got to have guardianship. you got to have something, because you just don't try to get child support. Okay? It don't work that way. So, the courts, you know, said they're capable of working, the capable of earning $1,250.57 in gross earnings for each of them. So they ordered her to pay, at starting on November 1st, they ordered her to pay $150 for the two littles that were in Billy Joe's custody. A guardianship, I should say. So. The part where her friend told Crypt Keeper, a.k.a. Evil Creature, that she didn't have any legal rights, BS. All BS. Okay, because you can't apply for child support if you don't have any kind of guardianship. Then on October 5th, of course, we know Quentin went, was uh, killed at the hands of his mother or his biological mother, or whatever the hell you want to call her. I call her Junkie Mom. And, Quentin, baby, I am so sorry, honey, that somebody did that to you. You deserve so much more. You deserved to live. You deserved to have go to school. You deserved to have a life. You deserve to be married and have children. And she took that all away from you, and I hope that she meets her maker. And they take that away from her. Because she deserves that. That she deserves. I'm sorry, but she does. I think I'm going to walk on the melted part of the road. They cindered earlier. So anyway, let's go back. On October 12, 2022, the two littles were removed. Okay? In fear of the danger of abuse and neglect. See, I got notes. I wrote it word for word what I could remember. And I looked at the paper, too, that I have saved. Um, neglect if they had remained in the home. So, if Grandma knew that Junkie Mom, Top Mom, whatever the hell you want to call her, Top Mom number two, we'll call her, was unfit and abusive to these children. Well, why in the hell did you leave these babies alone with her? That does not make any sense. 
Not in any sense at all. It's stupid. So anyway, the removal from the custodian was to safeguard the Littles welfare. Removal was in the best interest of the Littles because of the voluntary kinship agreement with relatives became sufficient to ensure safety and welfare of the Littles during a child's death investigation. Let's see, I've been saying this all along, Billy Joe. You were responsible for their protection. All three of them now I'm talking about protection, their welfare, and their safety. And you failed them miserably. You could have easily, easily arranged with a friend, with a family member, you know, other than in your house, you know. Uh, the babysitter, you could have gave her a whole lot extra. Oh, I'll get to her next. She didn't do anything wrong, but I got something to say. And she could have turned around and left those babies with the babysitter and gave her like $500 for a couple of days to watch these babies and take care of them. Right? But instead, you basically left these babies alone because your junky daughter got stoned out of her mind the night before. So basically, those three babies were alone technically by themselves. Right? Because we know that D was there. I don't know what his extent of it all is. And your other son, I don't know much about him, only of what I've heard. So I'm kind of going to leave him out of the picture for now, but he was there. Um, allegedly, he's handicapped, supposedly. Um, I'm not going to talk about him. That's not right. But... So then, you threw their welfare, their protection, and their safety right out the window. And as for evil creature, Crypt Keeper, and uh, Billy Joe's best friend saying, Oh, but she took all precautions. What precautions did you take to ensure their safety? Please explain that to me. What precautions? You're a liar, is what you are. You were worried about yourself and going to work and all that, making money. You had to do what you had to do. That's fine. But you did not stop to think about the priority number one, which were those three babies. It's on you. You should get neglect. Aggravated neglect for that. Huh? Aggravated neglect. That's what you should be getting. So anyway... Where was I? Relatives and insurance. So the welfare and will. Okay. In the child's death investigation, the maternal grandmother had permanent guardianship order as a, to child number one, the first little. You had a permanent guardianship to him. Right? You failed two children, leaving them home with a junkie mom who was unfit, and you knew she was unfit. You see, I write down what I can. I take notes, you see? And to sit there and lie through your teeth for her and support her when you know where the truth is. Like, don't you read things, Crypt Keeper, evil creature? Don't you read things? Or are you making up this narrative as you go along? I'm guessing you make up the narrative as you go along. <coughs> My heart goes out to Bubba. He deserved to see his son if he wanted to. And I believe, strongly believe, and I hope that they do the right thing and give the remains of Quentin to his father. And about that casket thing that you claim that uh, you had designed and all that BS, show proof. Show a receipt that you ordered that. Because I don't believe you. A lot of people don't believe you, as a matter of fact. They think you're lying. I think you're lying. I think you fooled it. Yeah, I think you're full of a lot of stuff. Like going down to Georgia, bullcrap. It's bull with a capital S. You have some nerve. I watched one of your video one of your things the other day. I almost fell on the floor. 
Where do you get off making fun of a woman who has mental illness? You know who I'm talking about, MS. Huh? I don't, I, I don't want to say her name, but she has mental illness, I could tell. I got nothing against her because I don't even know her, but I've watched her cook. Yeah, she does some things that, you know, does some things that are not very nice, but I don't pay attention to that. I watched her cook one day, and here she is making a video, a live, streaming this woman's streams, making fun of her. Where do you get making fun of somebody who's mentally ill? Where do you get off calling people who gave quit in a voice tragedy pimps? You know who the tragedy pimp is? You. You alone. You and your damn friends are tragedy pimps. When you can literally sit there and call out people by name and collect money as a scam. Yeah. You know that funeral was donated. She called live and told you so. So where's that funeral money? And don't say you spent it on, the, on a casket because anybody can take a Photoshop and make a picture and put things on it and say it's something. So don't lie. If that is a casket, it's pretty damn fucking gaudy. It's disrespectful to Quentin. Shame on you family friend, my hiney. All you're doing is what you did to the Wells. Trying trying to get in in real good with them so you could find out information and then all of a sudden you're gonna turn on them. Just like you did to the Wells. Huh? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You've done it before. Yeah. Lion sack of doo doo. And everybody that has watched my video yesterday, I appreciate it. But I, I really needed to correct that because I said, no, wait a minute. Didn't she ask for child support? And then I asked my friend, which by the way, I'm going to give a shout out to in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little cold. <coughs> and I'm, I, you know, I looked through it and I went, you know what? She did. Well, you can't ask for child support unless you got a guardianship or custody. Duh. She had guardianship of both kids, minus the little little one. And she wanted 115 child support per month, according to the court papers. And yes, your, 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 your newfound friend, you know, the one sitting in jail, the one that you kept telling, scream out justice for Quinn. How dare you, justice for Quinn. Shame on you that she never come out of her mouth. Oh, and, and, and while we're on the subject, I got a Christmas gift for uh, Billy Joe coming up. Y'all remember the video where she barged in to the babysitter's house, yelling and screaming and carrying on? Well, she made a lovely statement, and I'm going to have that as a Christmas gift to her sometime within the next few days. Yeah, right out of the mouth of babes, she said it. Not going to say what it is, but it's going to be a doozy that she said to the babysitter. And you know what? Maybe she should have fucking thought about it. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. Maybe she should have thought about that before she left town. Put your priorities first, which you did not do. Their welfare, the welfare and safety of these babies. You didn't care about. You threw that right out the window. You left them alone with an unfit mother who not only took drugs with babies, but was taking drugs and that's basically leaving your baby, the babies alone because you're too stoned to take care of them. Oh yeah. Sorry I slipped with a bad word. I can't edit it out. I can restart my video if I wanted to, but seriously. But I slipped. I'm sorry. That won't happen again. How dare you sit there and support a baby killer? How dare you support 
a woman who neglected those babies. You know, she's in jail for like a few days more to like the 22nd. I think the video that I'm going to do it will drop on the 22nd. A Christmas gift to her with the words out of her own mouth. Yeah. Shame, shame, shame. Got caught. Or it might come out a little bit earlier. I don't know yet. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it. But, as I said, I appreciate all the people that are subbing to me. I'm sorry if I slipped on a bad word. They make me so mad, it just came out. But, you know, sometimes a bad word happens. Right? We all have done it. I try not to. I'm not like those other channels. I'm not going to sit there and spoo the bad words and stuff like she does. Because it's disgusting. But when you sit there and you pick on a woman who's mentally ill, and you got a, you got your brain, you know what, you got a major butt leak. Right? You got a major butt leak when you do something like that to somebody else who did nothing to you, in my opinion. And if she did do anything to you, good for her. If she said something about you, good for her. Because you know what? You're a piece of garbage. <coughs> You're a piece of garbage. You got upset when you found out that uh, Billy Joe got arrested. Huh. Oh. So what you going to do when you go to Georgia there, uh, evil creature? You going to go and hold her hand? Huh? Because I don't think you're going. I think it's all ploy and all a bunch of BS. And if you do go, I'm sure everybody would love to see a receipt. But I doubt you're going. Because you don't need a COVID shot to go to the United States. And, you know, kind of late to get a visa or whatever the hell you got to get from Canada. And I wouldn't really come here. Didn't I hear once that you have some kind of warrants or something against you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't go. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time on your end. Oh, I want to know one question. Actually, two questions. That ugly banner that Billy Joe hung up on her fence, your picture and your father's, why, I do not know. Not only was it disrespectful to Quentin, because you didn't even include his picture. And you weren't involved in anything. And, oh, I love the little cardboard sign about Cher. You know what? Kiss it, okay? Kiss it big time. Or as JBS says, or JSB says, kiss my whole you-know-what. Who paid for that banner, you or her? Because that is just, just disrespectful. And if I was her husband, I would have ripped the damn thing off my fence. You ain't nothing. You ain't helping nobody. You're stirring up trouble. You're, you embedded yourself into an investigation you don't belong in. And, as inquiry minds want to know, what did you and B.J. do with those funeral donations that you got? You know, the ones you were e-begging for? When you were called live, and she said an organization had reached out to her in an email, and she called them, and they donated the entire funeral. It's paid for. So what did you do with the money? Hmm? Pocket it? Yeah, I'd be curious to know about that, too. Shame on you. Shame on you always. I don't like you. I'm not going to pretend, and I don't feel sorry for Billy Joe, I don't feel sorry for Leilani, and don't ask people to show them sympathy. The only one I show sympathy for is Quentin, because Quentin mattered. It's about him. He mattered. Stop acting like you care, because you don't care. Because if you cared, you wouldn't have a YouTube channel the way you have it with a bunch of lies. So, truth stands that she had guardian, permanent guardianship of the two. And Lailani was ordered to pay child support. And she was 
filed an eviction notice. And as of November 1st, she was supposed to pay child support. Oops, backfired. She had the nerve while her mother was out of town, who should have been home babysitting her, to kill poor Quentin and beat him to death and then dump him in a dumpster like he was trash. Shame on her. I hope she meets her maker. She, she's not going to show no remorse for what she did, but I hope she meets her maker. I hope that she meets her maker real good. It'll serve her right. I don't feel sorry for her at all. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for supporting that. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end my video because it is cold. I did promise I'd do a, a new video. It did get snow yesterday. We're going to get more next Thursday. But I just wanted to clear it up and tell you the truth because that's the way I am. And as I said, Quentin deserves so much more. And he deserved a lot. And he mattered. His siblings matter too. I hope they get adopted. I hope that they get a good home. I hope that they get a lot of love and I hope Santa brings them a whole lot of stuff because they deserve it. Deal with that, creature. Deal with that.